Let us please stand. The earth is the Lord, and the fullness thereof. The world, and they that dwell thereof. For he hath founded it upon the sea, and established it upon the flood. Who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? He that have clean hands and a pure heart. Lift up your soul unto vain, nor soar deceitfulness. He shall receive the righteousness of God. The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restores my soul. He leadeth me for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley, the shallow of death, I will feel no evil. For thou art with me, thou rod, and thy staff comfort me. Thou prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointed my head with oil. My cups runneth over. Sureness and goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The earth is the Lord. The fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell thereof. For he hath founded it upon the sea and established it upon the flood. Who shall ascend unto the hills of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart. Who shall 
not lifting up his soul unto things, nor source deceitfulness. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and the righteousness from God for his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy faith, O Jacob. Lift up your head, O ye gate, and be lifted up, ye everlasting door. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty. Even lift them up, ye everlasting Please, door. Stand around and the, the wall, king come out. of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of of glory. The Lord is stand around the wall if you like. And my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked come even an enemy come before me, came upon to eat up my flesh. They stumble and fail. No way the host shall encamp around me. My heart shall not fear. No war should rise against me. In this will I be comfortable. One thing I have desire of the Lord. That will I seek after that may will in the house of the Lord. You may be seated at this time. Okay. Got some seats in the overflow room. Give me one more, please. Step over to the overflow room. And wind it over there. To God for allowing us to be here on this occasion. The long going. We like to personally thank everyone for taking time out of your schedules to come and be a part of this service. This goes out to the ministers and everyone under the sound of our voice. The family have asked that we try to keep this service within the hour time. They've also asked that only those names that appear on the program come forth unless they at some point in the time of the service so advise otherwise. So in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, let's govern ourselves according to the program. Thank you.
third song of David. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want He making me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still water. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley where the shadow of death, I will feel no evil, for thou art with me. Thou wrong, and thou staff shall comfort me. Thou prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with all. My cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I'll dwell in the house of the Lord. How long? Forever and forever and forevermore. God bless you. Hallelujah. A New Testament reading is coming from 2 Corinthians, the fifth chapter. And it reads as follows. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were designed, we have a building of God and a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For in this we grow, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with, the, with our house, which is from heaven. If so be that they be clothed, we shall not be found naked. For we that are in this tabernacle do grow, be it burdened.
Tell your Father we're grateful Amen. for the time that you allow our sister to be with us. Amen. We want to thank you, God, because you never forsook her. Amen. And you never left her. Amen. As well as us, you never leave us. Amen. And you will never forsake us. Amen. So, God, we come to say thank you. Amen. Living in this chaotic world. Amen. Being in the world, but not of the world. I want to say thank you. Amen. You brought us not just a long way, you brought us all the way. Amen. And God, we just give you praise Amen. and we give you glory. Amen. We don't know what tomorrow holds. Amen. But if tomorrow should come, we know who we know who holds tomorrow. Amen. And God, I ask you now to touch the family. Amen. Bring them closer together in the love of you. Let them be reminded that they, they are their brother and sister keeper. Let them know that you so love the world that you gave your only begotten son. That whosoever believe it should not perish but have everlasting life. So God, we come today. Reminded of the fact that you said I go away. But I will come again. And I will receive you unto myself. And where I am, you may be also. So God bless this family. Bless this congregation. Keep us all in mind of the good things that you've done. And when we might get weak and weary and start to remember it and get sad, we know that you are closer than a brother. You said you'd be a mother or father. And God, we take you at your word. And we thank you again. And we give all blessings in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. I'd like to thank everyone for participating with the program up to this point. We do like to make an announcement. Uh, after the church paper, the family has authorized Mr. James Bond to come forth and do a selection. And I do hope that as musicians continue to give the selection, very few funerals that we went to that Lena didn't sing the song, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay? If I don't hear the voice, let me just say it's the middle.
Sabbath, but I thank God for blessing us to see one more sunshine day. Amen. In times like these, we need a Savior. Amen. In times like these, we need an anchor. Amen. So you be sure, be very sure, that your anchor holds and it grips the side of rock. Sister Linda Worsley was a member of the Cherry Hill Missionary Baptist Church. Sister Worsley loved to sing. So when she joined the church, when she joined the church, she didn't just sit in the pews. She became a member of the Voices of Joy. She became a member of the Senior Choir. She became a member of the gospel choir. And she also sang in the combined choir. Sister Worsley loved to sing those songs that had me. Just a closer walk with me. Grant it, Jesus, if you please. Jesus, sweet Jesus, oh how I love calling your name. Without God, I could do nothing. And her favorite song, Lord, you gave me one more sunshiny day. Sister Worsley knew that on this Christian journey, the road might get rough and the hills might get hard to climb. But she kept holding to God's unchanging hand. For she knew that without God, she could do nothing. I can imagine Sister Worcester saying, I will work until Jesus comes. Because soon and very soon, I'm going to see the king. And when I see the king, I won't have to cry no more. When I see the king, I will have no more pain. When I see the king, every day, will be just like Sunday Amen. when I see the king. Amen. So sleep on Sister Worsley and take your rest. We love you, but God love you best. Amen. Amen. I'm submit it. Cherry of Baptist Church and Reverend C. A. Reverend Pastor. Oh, church, I say, because of that. 
learned that this weekend. Glass was my first cousin, but she was one of my best friends. Love you. Corinthians in the 13th chapter said something about love. And one of the things he said about love that love is not puffed up. And Linda, Linda loved family. And, and Linda loved a little country town called Princeville. She served it as a commissioner. She served it running the museum. She served at running the senior center. And when she finished with that, she still, in the background, continued to serve the town of Crutchfield. It wasn't puffed up. It was love. And she, like, she loved that little country town. And after the flood of 99, Nine, there was an opportunity to submit to a file and the town wouldn't have been. Linda was one of the people that voted against that. You know, she wasn't the only one. And I don't remember exactly what the vote was. But thank you, Linda. Thank you for your love and thank you for not being puffed up. <laughs> is my first cousin also. We grew up together. It was like, okay, you're my first cousin, but you're my big sister. We shared so many things together. One thing that comes to mind, when we were living with my grandfather on the farm in the summer, Linda and Brenda used to come and spend the summer with us. And we would be putting in tobacco. And Linda would stand on the end of that tobacco truck. And a lot of you, you are my age, and I know you are. <laughs> I know you remember the program that used to come on. You know, radio used to go up then at six or seven o'clock. But at three o'clock, this program used to come on called It's Time for Ten. They played all the songs, and every song that they played, it seems like Linda could sing that song. She'd stand on the end of that tobacco truck, and she would serenade us all afternoon. As James said, what we had was not fake. Our connections stayed tight. We were always back and forth. She was back and forth to Baltimore when I was there. Whatever I was involved in, she and Brenda, here they come. But this is what I enjoyed. This is what she enjoyed. Because we were so family oriented. When I moved to Baltimore, I was a Princeville commissioner. So I chose Linda to take my place at Princeville as the city commissioner and also become a member of Region L. There's always been that connection, that bond, and it was one that we will always carry with us. And I still got it. I still got it. It's hard, but you know what? When I think about being in pain myself, 
I don't know how much pain she was in. But I do know that God took her for a reason. We may never know. But Lord, we're going to miss her. We are going to miss her. We said it was too soon, Lord. But it's not for us to say. But we're going to keep her in our heart. Yeah, baby, we're going to miss you. But in our heart, you will always say. Bless you, God bless you. At this time, we can turn this program back over to Miss Jardine Power. And after Mother Power come forth, we can have a musical selection by Mr. Priest Wooten, followed by the Honorable Reverend Jim with you. Amen. 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 James Mount Pilgrim Hunter at the church, Reverend Turner J. White Pastor. To Sister Tracy White. We the pastor. Officers and members of James Mount Pilgrim Missionary Baptist Church, extend our deepest condolences to you and the loss of your grandmother, Sister Linda Blass Wilson. We extend our deepest sympathy to you and the entire family. Sister Tracy, we want you to know that your church family is sharing in your sorrow. More importantly, we, re we recognize that your loss is heaven's gain. We feel certain that the presence of Sister Linda Glass Worsley will be greatly missed. Pastor White and your Jane Mount Pilgrim Church family encourage you to hold firm to God's unchanging hand. We share in your heartfelt sympathy, but know that God will sustain and strengthen you in this time of grief. Reverend Turner J. White, Pastor, and the Jane Mount Pilgrim Missionary Baptist Church family.
to say just a closer walk with thee. Now, I'm one of them old preachers. I don't talk real fast to get that sight. I'm one of them old preachers. I don't use good English. I'm one of them old preachers that I don't preach long. And one of them old preachers don't have a lot to say. But I can say this right here. Somebody ought to tell God thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
For my take, if you would, if you would, my brother and my sister, turn over to Hebrew, the 12th chapter, and I just like to emphasize on two verses. And it reads like this right here. Wherefore, seeing we all compassed about with so great a cloud of witness, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beseech us and let us run with patience. The race that is set before us. Look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despised the shame, and is set before at the is set at the right hand of the throne of God. My brother and my sister, on this afternoon, there is a race set before each and every one. It's up to you how you run your race. Well, well, I ain't gonna tell you how to run it. You run the way the way you see fit. But you better put your hand in God's hand yeah. so that when things come above you, yeah. when trouble come in the race, you know who you got supporting yeah. you. Yeah. When sickness come upon you in this race, mm -hmm. you know who you got upon you. Mm -hmm. Every day, Amen. got to race the run. Mm -hmm. Well, my brother and my sister, I tell you, the race don't get so easy. You know why? Because some of the same people that are in the race with you will trip you down. What you mean? What you mean, preacher? Because they run it beside you and say they love the Lord. They feel will trip you and make you fall during your race. But to glory be to God, I serve a God that will never trip you or allow you to fall. I serve a God that will uphold you as long as you keep your hand in his hand. He will not take you some of the way, but he will take you all the way. Y'all didn't understand. That's why she sung that song with so much compassion. Just one more. Just one more. Sunny day. Can you run better when the sun is shining than it is when it rains? That's why she said, give me one more sunny day, Lord, because of something I need to do and run this race. She ran it, y'all. Thank God that she ran this race that was set before us. Trisha, we have a race to run? We got to run this race by the service that we give. Well, somebody sing old songs say, Lord, let the service I give speak for me. Well, 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 well. You cannot serve God sitting home on the do that. You got to get out there and do something. I know for a fact this lady helped a lot of singers, helped a lot of people in the community to get things and achieve things that they needed to get. During the wintertime, she did not help those that couldn't pay for the oil, couldn't pay the heating bill. She helped them to get a program. Or get out a program to do these things. That was her service, y'all. And the race of suffering. Well, my God, my God. I can imagine that she had aches and pains that somebody didn't know about. She had aches and pains that are eating out her children. Didn't even know that she had them as bad as they would. But she stayed in the race. She never threw a hand up and said, I'm done. I'm going to do this no more. She stayed in the race, my brother and my sister. And tied to you, I say to you, you stay encouraged. Mm -hmm. You stay active. Mm -hmm. You stay in this race to achieve. And most of all, be obedient, obedient unto God. Mm -hmm. In this race that you got to run. Mm -hmm. Because this race is set before 
us mm -hmm. and his mates not be easy. Mm -hmm. But you got to run your race. Yeah. In order for you to seek our faith, mm -hmm. you got to run the race. Yeah. Because this old world is going to throw a lot of things at you. Mm -hmm. Not only this old world, my brother, my sister, mm -hmm. but the people in this old world. Yeah. will mess around and mess around. They'll talk about you, yeah. drag your name through the mud. Yeah. And you just feel like you don't take it, can't take it no more. Mm -hmm. But God will yeah. undergird you yeah. and lift you up yeah. and strengthen you in all that you do. Yeah. Because you got to run this race yeah. by being faithful unto God. Yeah. It is easy to set out to start the race. Mm -hmm. Running just as fast as you can. Running just as hard as you can. Mm -hmm. Somebody told me the race is not given to the quit. Mm -hmm. The race is given to those who can endure. Mm -hmm. The race is not given to the strongest one. Mm -hmm. The race is given to the one that can endure mm -hmm. until the end. Mm -hmm. See, my brother and my sister, we didn't know how weak she was, but God knew. Yes, God knew. And it really threw me for a loop. Mm -hmm. And sister, brother, I know it did you. You talking to her just like you talk to her every day and she thought telling you these things. I want this done, I want this done, I want this done. Mm -hmm. See, she already had her communication line open with the father. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She already had her stuff fixed because she know where she want her way to. Right. She ain't coming back, y'all. We need to get ready to go to her. So I'm telling you right now, don't let nothing discourage you in this race. Continue to be patient. Endure all kind of difficult that come upon you in this life. Because it will come. It will come. But you got to endure it. You got to continue to keep the right people in your circle. Amen. Well, those don't Cause you my first cousin don't mean you need to be in my circle. <laughs> Just because you my brother, you might not need to be in my circle. Sometimes the closest thing that hinder us as brothers and sisters in Christ is the people that are closer to us. You got to separate yourself to get in this race. Because why? I believe I'm so said, flesh and blood cannot hinder the king of God. It won't go there. So it's all right to be your, my flesh and blood down here. But if you're going to hinder me from being in the kingdom of God, then I don't need you. Yes, sir, you can be my cousin on paper. But for the blood of Jesus, you ain't no cancer if you don't know the Lord. Continue to stay in the race, my brother, my sister. Because in this race, we'll be going through some stuff. We'll be going... There'll be days when we'll be working hard. There'll be days when we'll have down days. There'll be days when we'll fall all the way to the ground. There'll be days where we'll be carrying so much of a heavy load that our burden will be so heavy that we cannot carry it alone. That's why we got to look to Jesus where all our help comes from. That's why when you're traveling down, Life on highway. Mm. You better have a talk with Jesus. Yeah. Tell him all about the trouble. Yeah. Tell him yeah. all about the trouble. Because yeah. one day, it'll soon be over. Yeah. I'm walking and I'm falling. Yeah. I'm working and I'm serving. Yeah. I'm giving it all yeah. unto the God. Yeah. As long as I can. Yeah. My brother and my sister, as I get ready to go to my seat, Stay in the race and know who your partner is. They is the race. They is the race. Well, they have a baton. When you run in this race, you run so many 200 meters and then you pass it off to the next brother. And he take off and finish running. But in this race, you got to run it alone. You got to run it by yourself. Don't pass it. Because why? 
time when you try to pass it. Right. That your life gonna go because you depending on somebody else. You run the race for yourself. In the hands of the martyrs. Thank you. 
God is able. 